All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we are visiting a lake that I found last year that uh, we did pretty well on. So today, myself, Waldo, Aaron back there, we are we're gonna go try to put a hurting on them today. Should we're gonna be, be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's a basin crappie bite, so uh, we're just gonna kind of drill a bunch of holes, try to find a school, and yep. stick with them. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. On. Nice, buddy. Good one. Uh. <laughs> nice one. Really nice one. That's a good way to start the day. Nice little crappie. School's already gone. The school in this basin is just flying today. Nice little crappie. Look at the shoulders on that guy. It's a pretty one. Well, hopefully one of many. Let's get back down there and see how many more are in this basin. Hooked up. First fish of the day. No idea what it is, but Ooh, that's a small crappie. That's a small crappie. That's stuck underneath the old layer of the ice there. I got more down there. I'm getting down there. On. There we go. That's a nice small one. Eat. I think we're gonna keep today, bud? I don't really think we need to. Yeah, I don't think we need to either. I think we're good. I still got some last one. There we go. Got him. Feels a little bit better. Yeah, it looks, it looks like there was a couple better ones in that Ooh. school. That's a good one. That is a good one. Oh my gosh, cluster. That's a better one. Black drop kick jig with a little black chigger fry from Panfish Plastics. That's a healthy fish right there. Nice and thick, tall. We're only in 24 foot of water, so the nice thing is, is we don't really have to worry too much about fish getting barrel trauma at all. If we were fishing, and they're only halfway down too, so technically they're only 13 foot, but if they were, uh, they're a little bit deeper, we'd probably be keeping more, but that's a very, very nice healthy fish right there. Now I'm marking again, so I'm gonna get this baby back down. He was ready to go. Yep, not giant. 
decent little guy. God, they're just so thick. They are thick. Dude, that's freaking awesome. It's not too often. Here's a little non-sponsor plug right here. These things, the deal. You just pull the line tight, and pops the hook right out. You don't mess up the jig paint. You don't mess up your knot by accidentally grabbing it. And you're not digging around in there hurting the fish at all, so. That was nice, and of course they're gone again. <laughs> well, now they're gone. You gotta walk slow, Chief. Oh, really? Yes. Right. That's a better fish. Oh, jeez. One? Yeah, that's a good one. It's a nice fish. It's a good one. Drop kick right where it's supposed to be. God, I'm just impressed with how thick these fish are here. They're nice and tall. Ooh, they don't smell too good though. <laughs> that's a good fish. I don't see anything down its gullet that it's eating anything, but that one was 12 foot down. That's a real pale one compared to the others. Um, I'm gonna get this guy back. Just find me. Kicks off nice and hard, that's what we want. Get him. Atta boy. I'm all wrapped up in my deucer though. Yeah, it's way better. Yep. Yeah. Feel a little better one. Nice. Nice. Yeah. It's just been a little battle here. These things are just moving so fast. Are you still marking? No. Huge key to our success today, honestly, is just locating these fish. We are actually, we're using the live scope to just kind of pan around, look for big, they're kind of schooled up in like pods of like 12 fish or so. And it seems as though you got catch one and they just move, they just, they spook, and then you almost gotta move it. I'm marking right now, so. This is little, but fish is a fish. Big Mama's at. It's a nice one, but it's not what we came here for. We came here for donkeys. Ooh, that's a little better. Yeah, one for the table.
bad. Another little base and crappie. I'm still marking, so I'm gonna get them down quick. Oh, and of course I screwed that one up. They're still down there. better still kind of small <laughs> it's been a workout today for me being so out of shape it's not been good <laughs> but uh, it's a nice fish they're super thick here um, we're in a basin area right now kind of just in the middle of the lake and these fish are just moving through super fast in these pods and so once you get on top of them can take a little bit to stay on top of them so we're constantly having to drill holes this is the most stationary we've seen them all day where we can actually maybe catch another fish out of the same hole it's mostly been fish just flying through you maybe catch one here we go this one's flying up at it flew up and just disappeared but yeah they're they're just cruising around pretty fast right now so it's been a workout trying to stay on top of them we've got six inches of snow and then three inches of just straight slush before we get to the ice so it's, if any of you have fished with slush conditions you know it's a workout saying they're honestly just kind of kind of staying here right now which is kind of nice when working our butt off all day for these things yeah it hasn't been fun oh, it's been a grind yeah it definitely has been the four inch slush based uh is not the deal Nothing like slam and eat or crappies. Hey Cody, why don't you come over here once? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've still got fish stacked down there on the screen. Hey, that's a better one. Oh yeah, not bad. No, not bad at all. I Go mean, ahead. these, if we were keeping fish today, these would be perfect 11 inch crappies to keep. Um, they got some shoulders to them too. You get some nice fillets out of those. Absolutely, there's definitely some good genetics in these fish. That's for sure. Yeah, they're they're just really thick, heavy fish for how let's big they are. Back, huh? Yeah, let's get these fish back. It's nice. We're not fishing a deep basin. We're in about 21 foot of water, and the fish are about halfway down. So you're looking right around 12 foot. So you don't have to worry about barrel trauma at all. Um, if we were probably fishing deeper today, we'd more than likely be keeping fish, but. You know, I think we're gonna catch a few more fish and probably head out. It's been a it's been a long, tough battle today. So um, hopefully, we'll see you guys out on the ice next time.